So here, are, here we are out here now with my black stone griddle and I'm gonna be cooking up some chicken fajitas real quick um, right here on this nice little 28 inch griddle uh, or grill, whatever how you wanna call it. I'm gonna go ahead and preheat or go ahead and warm it up, get it lit. Got a fire going into there. Sometimes takes a couple tries. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one a little medium high and let this heat up for about five to seven minutes till it gets to a good temperature. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm gonna go in here and get that chicken ready, go ahead and get it seasoned and get some uh, peppers and onions, get those ready and uh, we'll be good to go. And for the fajita seasoning, I'm just gonna go ahead and add one half tablespoon of chili powder. Likewise, one half tablespoon of ground cumin. And one teaspoon right around of some garlic powder. A nice half teaspoon of some paprika in there. Look at that. Half teaspoon of some oregano. Half teaspoon of salt. Here I got a little pink Himalayan. Just about a fourth teaspoon of pepper. Stir that up in there. Now we're going to get our chicken over here. I went ahead, these were pretty thick, so I sliced uh, some of the thick breast, chicken breast, to make them a little thinner. Uh, cook easier and make them a little thinner for fajita style because they were quite thick. This is about not quite two pounds, just under that. And I'm going to take this right here and just sprinkle it atop it. Gently sprinkle across. Just gonna press that in. And flip them. And we're just gonna go ahead and do that on this side. Wanted to be conservative first to make sure I made a hit all of them. Push that in, flip them. Let's go ahead and, yeah, this side could use a little more. Finish it all off on them. Then I'm just gonna let that set, preheat the grill. Just kinda let that marinate in that chicken for a little while. So I just got done cutting up a whole onion right here. I'm gonna set this aside, we're gonna add that in. And some bell peppers, or what I have here is just some peppers here I got at Costco. I'm gonna use these today. Now I'm prepping all this before I get started cooking, just so I have everything ready. You could also go ahead and start cooking the chicken and then come in and do this at the same time. And I'm just gonna have everything ready to go here. Now if you get a little seeds in there, it's not that big a deal. Just clean it out a little. And totally optional, if you wanna kick it up a notch, go ahead and add a little bit of a jalapeno. Throw two in here. Slice it right down the middle. Remove those seeds first. This one, we're just going to leave the seeds in. Brighten this up a little bit. And there it is. I got the onions bell peppers, or in my case, sweet peppers, really the same type, and then some jalapenos that are gonna go into fajitas to kick things up a notch. So now we just need to get that grill heated, chicken cooked, we're ready to go. Good to go. We're gonna go ahead and put this on and cook it. It won't take 10, 15 minutes, and we're gonna have chicken fajitas in no time. And I'm just gonna take a little avocado oil. Whatever oil you prefer is fine. A little olive oil works. A little peanut oil. Well, I wouldn't do peanut oil, but vegetable oil's fine. Now 
Yeah, I'm just going to let those stay on there and cook. Looks beautiful. It's sizzling nicely at uh, about three, four minutes. And then check it, flip it. And when they get done, we'll pull them and start the veggies. Now, you don't have to use this black stone if you just have a regular skillet. This will work fine. Cast iron skillet. I just like cooking outside. And uh, plus you get one big area. You don't dirty up a bunch of pans, really. And it's just real nice and easy to do over a propane fire. I uh, also have a uh, pit barrel uh, that I'll be cooking in and showing some videos on as well. So if you're enjoying watching some awesome food cook, be sure and hit that little like and subscribe button uh, so you won't miss out on anything that I start cooking outside. So this is one of the first uh, videos I'm doing of like this, and I've got many to come for the Blackstone Griddle and the Pit Barrel Cooker right here. Um, I'll be cooking on it some smokes uh, right here on the Oki Smoking Channel. Look at that nice looking right there. I went ahead and turned this side on low a little bit in case I needed to transfer some over to keep them from burning, but everything seems to be doing quite well. Got them all on the hot side right now. The griddle I have has only two burners right here, so you got two zones. This is actually the Adventure Ready 28 inch. If you get the 36, you'll have three or four zones, I believe. Um, at least three and then they have uh, one that has four zones so you can keep this side one temperature and this side a different temperature uh, so if you're cooking different things or want a little spot to where you can move maybe you just turn this burner off so you can move it over there so uh, done food doesn't burn but it also stays warm uh, being on this uh, surface 165 degrees we're good that's the biggest one the others are going to be good as well plus when it rests as long as you want to make sure it's cooked all the way inside and we get a plate. We're going to put these off. We'll let them rest while we go ahead and put the veggies on. Look at that. Got everything back on about medium. Once again, just a little uh, avocado oil. Veggies. So now what we're going to do is take our knife and just slice right down the uh, chicken strips. So we got everything on here again. Uh, had a little camera malfunction that shut off. So missed a little bit of the scenes, but uh, as everything's on here, we got it cranked up and it's going to cook just a few minutes. And a dash of wine just for deglazing, if you have it, optional. Put that on there. And I think we're almost time to eat. Oh, <laughs> that looks amazing. Like my chicken, like my meat, it may be a little chicken heavy, that's okay. So we've got the burner turned down to low, kind of letting it cool off just a minute. It's not going to take long though, because it's not going to cool off very fast. We're going to throw a tortilla in there. Uh, 
add whatever you want on there some sour cream avocado salsa whatever your heart desires and this is going to be amazing now, it's out of salsa so you got to work with what you got i had some cholula look at that amazing you know the one thing i forgot need a little cheese i'm gonna make me another one in a minute i'm gonna have some cheese on it but you will love it absolutely amazing don't forget to like and subscribe mm. it is awesome see you in the next video have a great day